Hey Libra, I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to your general love reading for the second half of October 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. And because it's a general reading, it means that it's not going to be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, so the very first card out for you, Libra, we have understanding. So there is something that's going on here or that has been going on that has led up to you and possibly also the other person, we'll see, um, coming to like some major realization or just understanding what it is that is going on here or understanding what it is that you want to do or need to do. So let's see what is going on here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the last part of October. All right, for the situation, we have the Two of Wands crossed by the Ten of Wands. Okay, so yeah, it definitely feels like there is either something that wasn't moving or I feel like there's been something that has been like, um, something that's been stalling and whatever this stalling is, it was preventing you from like releasing some kind of a burden or releasing responsibilities. Of course, this could be for the other person as well. So just take it as it resonates. Um, we'll see. For the recent past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, okay, so it could be that recently, you know, you've started on a new path or there's been a new path that has opened up for you. Again, we'll see more when we clarify. For your energy, we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Wow, okay. So I feel like this is you becoming more in tune with your intuition, especially in terms of love. So this could be in terms of the love that you feel for another person or even the love, you know, for yourself. Like this could even be self-love. But whatever the case is, you're coming to a greater understanding about love, about what love is, unconditional love, pure love, genuine love, all of that. Um, let's see for the other person. We have the chariot and the five of pentacles. Okay, so we do have cancer um, showing up in your reading here. So some of you might be dealing with a cancer. Um, so the other person, there's some action here that they are taking. I don't know what kind of an action that is. We'll see when we clarify. But whatever that action is, I feel like, you know, it kind of leads them to this energy of feeling a little bit abandoned or just feeling a little bit lonely, feeling like, you know, they have to face some kind of a loss. Let's see um, what is coming up for you here. We have the Three of Cups. Okay, so that's actually very positive. This is this is positive, okay, regardless of what it is. For some of you, this could be like having some kind of a reconnection with somebody from your past. It could even be a reconnection with this person, although I'm not too sure about that. Um, it could even just be you feeling lighter, feeling more like you can enjoy life or that you can enjoy friends and just social interactions. Let's see for the other person. We have the Empress. Okay, so I do get that for a lot of you. This is actually um, them just feeling you, like having you in their energy and moving towards um, this connection with you or, you know, your energy, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm, a, I'm kind of hoping that this is also their energy because I do see them being a little bit out of balance here. So we'll see when we clarify. So let's actually get into it. Let's see that two of wands with the 10 of wands for the situation. Page of Wands, the Three of Cups again, and the Lovers. Okay, so we also have Gemini showing here. So some of you might also be dealing with a Gemini. Um, okay. So basically, yes, I feel like there has been some kind of a procrastination in terms of taking steps or taking that first step towards 
um, just releasing, releasing this heaviness, you know, like um, this, making this decision and it is a love decision. Okay. It is a love decision to stop carrying so much heaviness to stop carrying so much weight on your shoulders when it's almost like, you know, that's not good for you or, you know, that's not even really necessary for you to do that. Like relieving yourself of some kind of a, a response, some kind of a responsibility that you had actually like assigned to your own self, like realizing, you know what, I'm not responsible for this. I don't have to, you know, do this, this and the other. Um, it's that kind of a thing. So I feel like there was this procrastination in terms of taking steps towards making things lighter for your own self. So whatever that means to you, let's see this Ace of Pentacles in the recent past. Temperance and the Three of Swords. Okay, so the reason why there was this procrastination is because, okay, because I feel like that path was open to you. It's almost like, you know, um, the universe was showing you, hey, like, you know, you can take this path. It doesn't have to be this way. And, but taking that path was not something that would have been easy. Like, it was something that in order for you to take it, it also, you know, brings some pain to the equation. And so because of that, you know, like it took some time for you to get to where you are now. But where you are now, I see you moving, you know, in a very, very, very positive direction. I mean, you have beautiful cards here. I'm almost afraid to clarify. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to. So let's see. Also, I don't know if I called it out. We do also have Sagittarius showing up here. All right, let's see, Queen of Cups for your energy. I actually wanna clarify these two together because I feel like, yeah. Queen of Cups and Ace of Cups. Let's see, for Libra. Oh, we have the Chariot for you as well, so Cancer showing up again, and we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, like, be, I mean, the message is pretty simple here. You're, you're moving towards success. You're moving towards victory. You're moving towards um, really, like I said, you know, this deep understanding of love, whether that is self-love or whether that is, you know, what love means. And actually the two are related because the more that you love yourself, the more you understand, okay, you know what? This is what love is supposed to be even with another person. Like, you know, what unconditional love is. And it's, you know, we cannot have unconditional love if we don't first feel that for our own self. And so that's what you are moving towards here. And it might feel a little bit foreign to you. Like it might feel new, but that's okay. That's okay. You're still doing it. So let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the chariot for them. The nine of cups and the 10 of cups. Wow, okay. So this is someone who is really wanting this connection with you, is really wanting to have this happily ever after with you. Um, just wanting this love and to share it with you. Um, I do get that, you know, sometimes like the way that they're moving, it might be a little bit um, just not very, I don't know if I want to say stable or almost like they're like an amateur at it, like just not really like 100% knowing how to go about it. The intention is there. I do feel like the love is there, but I feel like they just don't always know how exactly to go about getting there, getting to this place of love with you, but it's truly what, what they want though. Let me see the five of pentacles. So I don't know if they're like, you know, making some hasty decisions or acting a little bit um, impulsive here, because I feel like, you know, you're kind of doing you and 
So it might even be a little bit like jolting to them, the fact that you're discovering so much about self-love and just love in general. And so that's, you know, coming off in your vibe in some way. And so it is affecting them because I feel like you're just not um, accepting to take on these responsibilities that you have been taking. So I feel like it might be a little bit surprising to them. So I feel like this is why they probably feel like they're a little bit um, neglected or rejected here or something, feeling some kind of a loss. So clarifying that Five of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo also showing here. So some of you might also be dealing with a Virgo. Um, yeah, there's a shift. There's a shift that has taken place and that shift is stemming from you. And because of that shift, you know, that's making them feel like they're losing something and that's actually forcing them to go deep within themselves and to do some soul searching for their own self. Because there's this shift in you, like you kind of like shook things up in the dynamic here. You're like, nope, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. So that's making them, I mean, it's almost like they're being forced to have like more alone time and to like force to like try to understand, right, just like, just like you're understanding about love, like they're being forced to also understand something of what's been going on here. Interesting, all right, let's see that Three of Cups for what you're moving towards. The Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Wow, okay, lots of threes, lots of threes. Um, <laughs> And there was, we had that Three of Cups here clarifying the main situation as well. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if you're actually like opening yourself up to other options here. That's definitely a, um, a possibility for some of you. Okay, it doesn't have to be for all of you. But I feel like for a lot of you, you are. Um, and you're just, you know, keeping things light. I feel like, you know, you're thinking about the future and you're thinking about, okay, you know, what is it that I can work with or what kind of a relationship, what kind of interactions do align with me and that I can be a part of and what, you know, I cannot. And yeah, that's just helping you because now that you know what it is that you want, then you know, you're not accepting something else that's not making you happy and that was just making you feel heavy and burdened. So let's see. Remember that the roles can be reversed. Well, let's see this Empress for the other person here. The Six of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to let go of you, basically. Um, again, I feel like it's the same message as the previous one, where they're being forced to move in a direction of healing. They're being forced to have some kind of a distance from you. I feel like you're doing that, like you're kind of bringing that energy to this dynamic. So this person is being forced to spend some time away from you where that is actually forcing them to heal certain aspects within themselves. And at the same time, like they're still holding on to you big time here. If anything, they're seeing you like as this empress, like having more, more respect for you, um, more appreciation for you. And then, you know, what that leads to and you know, what you want to do with it, that's a different story. But that's the energy that this person is moving towards. Um, which I feel kind of like opens up that path where like, yeah, you know, if you decide that this is what you want, but in a different way, like you've already shifted the dynamic here. Like you've already shifted things. And so, you know, that's doing like this ripple effect where, you know, then they're being forced to shift as well. And I do see them accepting this shift. So yeah, then it's going to be up to you. All right, Libra, that is it. Those were your messages. I thank you so, so much for watching and much love.